Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reading Homesick episode 80 to 81. Just a reminder, this is marked as mature. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I'm sorry. I will have to beep blurred all the very graphical part and all the bad words. I will have this on my Patreon page uh, for free for you guys, for all the people who pledge. Um, without any of those censorship okay because youtube is very sensitive when it comes to all the unpleasant Im imagery and bad words okay let's go ahead and get started where is my cursor okay <sighs> these are so unnecessary you know i can break out of them when i'm fully healed when i regain my energy i'd like to see you try don't underestimate me. Then shut up. <laughs> hey, I'm helping you out here. The least you can do is show some kindness. Er What's with the switch of attitude anyways? You were more menacing before, but now you're just... Say it. I dare you. Insufferable. <gasps> <laughs> there he goes again. I wouldn't have to if you guys were a little nicer to me. Besides, it was your fault my partner is taking a break from all the trauma you gave him. He's usually the one in control, and now he's not. What are you even on about? Wait, are you talking about your Merc? My Merc? He's neither mine nor a Merc. Kamau was once human too. He had a life and an identity, a family. Now imagine all that gets ripped away from you with a snap of, fing of a finger. You don't know why or what to do. All you can do is keep hoping everything will go back to normal. Keep staying alive. But how long can one keep going until they've finally given up? Does he remember what happened to him? Why would I share about him with an enemy who tried to kill us both. Because we want answers too. That's not good enough. Ask me again when you finally come up with a valid reason. Tough cookie to crack. <laughs> I hate how quiet you can get. Ugh. There's nothing to talk about. What about an escape? Weren't you planning that? Christ, now I remember why I never bothered talking to you. You always act like you, you are above others, keeping your head up so you could look down on others, but you're just as lost as a kid in a supermarket. No, you're just weird. You must have bad taste then. That's literally my best quality. Tell me what you're thinking. I may or may not be able to assist you. Didn't you say you weren't going to help? If it's a good plan, I might consider. Dude, I want to get out of here as much as you do. You know, what they say, if you got a plan, help out a friend. No one said that. Also, no. I don't care what happens to you. <laughs> if you say so. By the way... I've tried every ways to get out of here. If you thought of something, I probably already have tried it. <laughs> Adon, request to see you. Damn, already? <laughs> Welp, good luck out there. He's so weird. He was dead, Poppy. Disemboweled. He was still alive, you lying piece of shit. You deliberately left him to rot. You should have seen the look on his face. Oak didn't bother fighting back. That's why he lost. Somebody as fragile, fragile as him is an embarrassment to this community. 
Oh, I totally forgot that happened. Projecting is making you look extra insecure, Bella. It's ugly. What a child. So, why are you bothered by what he said? Is it that obvious? Kinda. Plus, he was wrong. You're not insecure at all. Oh, I know. You know, leaving Mr. Oak there was pretty smart to bring the others here. But he's not going to be happy with you. Every action comes a consequence, dear. Besides, if there's anyone I can trust this with, it's Oak. I will never be upset with you, Bella. Thank you, Faith. So they all have a soul that follows them. But this one is a little kid. So did Bella leave Oak there on purpose because she knows he's going to come back? The story is getting interesting. This is a weird man. Oh, he was imagining it. Ah, come in. Oh, homesick. See, no need. So how, how have you been? You didn't send me here for small talks. Get straight to the point or else I'll escort myself back to the cell. While the rush, we have all the time in the world. Fine. I'll start first. Are you still lying to them? Giving them false hope? I'm not sure what you're trying to insinuate. The Kira Don, do you need me to spell it out for you? There's nothing I do here that doesn't benefit my people. I do this for them. For you. Lies. None of us, none of this was ever for us. But everyone that respected you were blind to see that. To realize the man who promised a cure is the same man who caused all this destruction. This never-ending nightmare. So tell me, what the hell are you scheming this time? You don't trust me anymore, but that's okay. I'll show you. And when the time comes, you will understand. No, Dawn. When that time comes, I'll stop you. I'd like to return to my cell. Very well. You may go. By the way, I visited your old house. There was no sign of your family there. But a man who once cared for your daughter had to be buried, had to bury her remains. He said she was devoured by three hungry survivors and died tragically. No one was there to protect her. But you should have expected that. That got a reaction, a genuine reaction out of him. Okay, he hit a nerve. <gasps> huh? Not this again. It's the same scent. The same cell. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? <laughs> it's you. I've been waiting for you. The same being. Waiting for me? Why? Who are you? Why do I keep seeing you in my dreams? I'm just as confused as you. You're the only person I can somehow reach out to. Can you help me? What do you want me to do? I'm locked up somewhere. Please, find me. And how am I going to do that? Feel my presence. Feel it. And you'll know where I am. But... I won't stop calling for you. Promise me you'll find me. Wait, I still don't know who you... Promise me! I... I promise. I'll be waiting for you. 
what if the person in the cell is actually the guy? I forgot his name. Uh, the guy that tried to attack her and, you know, cut her and stuff. I forgot his name. What the hell was that dream? Was it even real? I don't know anymore. Are you okay? Yeah. Just had a weird dream. Where's everybody? Tree skeleton needed a pee break. I can't pull it out. Pull my pants down. Oh. So, are you gonna try and find them then? You were there? I'm always in there. <sighs> I've been seeing them a lot recently, and it's been so consistent that I don't know whether to help them or not. They seemed desperate, probably have been trapped for quite a long time. And their scent was definitely human, but why me? Why am I somehow linked to them? There are bigger matters to worry about right now. Maybe we'll see them again. Maybe we won't. Word till then. Yeah. Don't. Uh. Oh no. Oh. But. Oh my goodness. You broke my nose. Move and I'll shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? He seemed troubled, so I checked to see what was going on. Next thing I knew, he tried to attack me. Reflex, sorry. I have a thing about people sneaking up from behind. All right, okay. As long as everyone's fine, come on, let's all get back to the van. You okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm clearly not okay here. Sam? <sighs> A little help here? What? Can't stand on your own now? Actually, yes. I'm all fucked up because of you people. Now help out a cripple or else you're going to hell. A little hypocritical to say that, don't you think? Homesick. Okay. All right. Interesting two episode, honestly. Not, not a huge cliffhanger, which is a great thing, but also a bad thing because, hmm, it's too calm, you know? Okay, so we do know that, you know, the guy, I guess his name is Adon, um, is a leader and he's the one who apparently may have caused this whole apocalypse and that he had a family, had a daughter, and that... His daughter was brutally unalived, brutally, and that got a reaction out of him because he was all smiles and acting like he'd been playing chess this whole time. And so, wow. Okay. And of course, we'll learn more about the mercs and how they coexist in the human body and all this stuff. And that is a lot going on. We got a lot of information. It's very chill to episode but it's a lot of information coming out of them hmm all right if you guys enjoyed the way i read this and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments check out my other reads and i'll catch you guys next time